points move up to cap two or one in the elite race. Again, cat two, national class, category one, international class. So it looks like everybody willing to just roll around, roll the dice. You know the pace is not very quick when they're spread wide across the track. Anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour maybe. But once they start going single file formation, 30, 32, 35 miles an hour. Perfect opportunity for one of our teams to make a maneuver here. And it looks like something trying to happen. Oh yeah, the fun bunch getting into it in turn two. Again, uh, unlike auto car racing, which I make references to quite often, our racers here can hear you. So the louder we are, the faster they go. So clap your hands, stomp your feet, yell at the kids, scream at the dog, whatever it takes to make some noise. Rod Mark on the front. Dan Stark pulling him around. So you can see things starting to pick up. At... Someone just came over and said, hey, mister, what are those black wheels that they've got on some of their bikes? Well, some of these riders have that solid disc wheel all about aerodynamics slicing through the wind. Essentially, it is one spoke. Mary Moore Crawl participants need to sign in to race. Mary Moore Crawl, please come into the judges stand and sign in. Season points are available for the crawl. Through the turn, pick out your favorite folks. I want to say my favorite part of this race is watching the lap card. And every time they come around, this man is going to touch that bell and make them think, is it this time? And you just never know in this race. And as a racer out there, that's got to be pretty stressful. As here goes a big move from a racer for a slalom consulting now. Thinking, hey, maybe this is the time. And it is Eric Bierman now coming through the fourth turn. And looking at that straightaway and saying, come on, lap cards, let's go. Let's ring that bell. And nothing for it as the uh, pack is starting to spread out just a little bit here. Three riders out in front. This wouldn't be bad. Is that Mr. Fox and Laura Chang? Fox in the yellow and black of Broadmark. Laura Chang in the bike sale uniform. Black and white with the electric blue highlights. Showing six. Laps completed. Mr. Fox going clear. Looks like he's going to... Nope, he's going to give it back. He's going to work with Laura here as the pack is right there. these riders organizing these long straight lines and uh, a lot of times you'll even see these, these pairings of riders where they're going to hide behind each other and just like in any other kind of racing when you're out in the elements that wind's going to slow you down so they're organizing to get more speed and there goes all their speed right there Bill Go as they hit corner four. That's right and there is a little bit of a headwind here so you do feel the effects of uh, being in the lead and fighting the wind or being in the draft a couple positions behind. But again, I would think some of our teams would want to keep the race fast, keep things moving. So if that bell does come, there's not a lot of speed change. Showing eight on the lap cards. Everybody fanned out. It's almost like they want to try and wait to cross the line. Brendan Schumacher Go trying fish. to make this happen here for Slalom Consulting. And he's got Ted Scott and Tony Battieri with him. I mean, you've got to be thinking it's got to come any second now. I mean, nine laps have gone down, and they're starting to get anxious. Perfect opportunity to warm up for that Mary Moore Mile coming up next. Got to sign in to do it. It is open. Or Mary Moore Crawl, that's it. 
It'll feel like a mile after three plus minutes. Beautiful day. How about it, folks? Big round of applause for the uh, sunshine coming out. There you go. Trying to complete 10 laps here. Someone's got to think they know when that bell's going to ring. Daniel Stark exploding over the top there. Taking another gamble in the Broadmark colors. Looking for that bell lap, and again, you do a move like that, and it's going to expend a lot of energy. You're hoping that you're, uh, you're going to be lucky on that one. That's a big move from our rider in the yellow and black. And you can see the pack starting to string out, trying to bring back Broadmark. There is the bell yeah. for a start. Oh Here comes Broadmark on the front. Come on, Fish! That's going to hurt for our rider in the yellow. Corbridge is going to try and pick it up, though, and come over the top. Peter Hinckley trying to show something here. MacArthur in the green. Here comes the drag race, four riders wide. Whoa, look at the blue shot. Here they come to the line. It's Peter Hinckley on the front. Can he hold off the charge? It looks like Steve. You can't catch me, Cohen. 